I've had a couple of heated discussions, not heated on my part because I knew where I was speaking from, but heated on the other person's part about people he knew love Jesus, but they're still in a false religion. They're still in a cult, but they love Jesus. They embrace the truth of the word. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me. What fellowship does light have with dark? That's biblical. How would the Holy Spirit who lives in this person who's supposed to be a believer allow this person to sit and listen to blasphemies against the Lord Jesus Christ? The Holy Spirit would just grab that person by the heart if they were really a believer, twist it, and know you're getting out of here and you're getting out of here now. And so I challenged this person I had this conversation with. I challenged them, show me in Scripture where that is actually a good thing, where that's even permitted, where that's something to be sought after. Oh, well, and then he changed his tune. Oh, well, it's an evangelistic outreach. It's a mission field now. Like, okay, let me think for a minute and let me say I agree with you. Fine. This person who is a believer, claims to be a believer, right? But is in this false religion, is now stirring things up in the midst of this false religion, sowing discord amongst those who don't believe what he believes or she believes. That doesn't seem proper. But even if it is proper, I'll go even further. How is this person getting fellowship? How is this person fellowshipping? Oh, well, they're fellowshipping with the people in that church. Like, eh, stop. Again, what fellowship does light have with dark? You can only have fellowship with other believers. A true believer can only have fellowship with another believer. You cannot have fellowship with someone who's an atheist. Again, back them into a truth corner, and that's when he blew up. So that's what happens.